How you doing, guys? I'm Trenton Sanderson here on the infamous Living Rim Network. Thank you so much for tuning in. It is my pleasure and honor to actually be with you right now. Like, man, I actually get to talk to you guys on a regular basis, and we've been coming together and just been talking. I met a guy today who's been around for years. His name is Brandon Gibson, and he just said, you know what, Trenton, I really appreciate you for, you know, making such inspiring videos, and I really follow you and all this stuff. And I'm just like, hey, you know, I'm like, hold up. I'm, I'm just like you, buddy. I'm just like you. I'm, I'm a regular person. He hit me up on Facebook, too, by the way. And um, guys, if you really want to chat with me or whatever, just make sure you add me on Facebook. I got a new Facebook page called The Hop Page. Hashtag Hop. That's why I say Deep Topics. Hop, LRN, all that stuff. But anyway, if you add me on that Facebook page, guys, I'm willing to talk to you about anything. You know, I'm just not going to get too deep down into personal business about issues and stuff like that because I have a life, too, and I don't always want to talk about issues that you might be going through or that I might be going through. Sometimes I just want to have fun and just talk to people. So, But if you do want to get down and dirty about certain topics and stuff like that and you really want to interact with me or the Living Room Network as a whole unit, you like what you see going on here on the Living Room Network, you might want to become an official Rim team member. How do you do this? At the very bottom of this video in the description section, click the first link that link will take you to our website and on our website you will see all the stuff that comes with becoming an official Realm Team member. Not only will you be a subscriber on YouTube but you will have an inside key to what we're doing here on the Living Room Network and I'll tell you more about that if you sign up guys. So it's best you come inside the house because we're having a party and a blast in here. Okay, We want the whole neighborhood to hear the sounds. Hopefully nobody will call the police on us, but we're having a party in here, and we told all our neighbors that we was going to have this party, so most people is vouching for us to have this party. You want to come in, get you a ticket, guys, because it's, it's very, very well worth it. Okay, so that takes us down into the topic of what we're about to talk about today, guys, since we're being so resistance-free and we're just you know, letting all the negative stuff go and just letting all the positive stuff flow and come into our life. And man, we're, we're feeling good every day. I mean, we're feeling good every day. And um, it's so exciting that you and me can actually feel like we are some type of in sync with each other. I know that you know we're behind screens and stuff like that, but hey, that's, that's what life is all about. Life is about like listening receiving, learning, cultivating, making ourselves better, making other people's lives better so that we can make the world a better place and whatnot. Anyway, enough with the bull crap. Okay, so how to deal with low vibratory people? How do you deal with low vibratory people? Guys, I'm going to clear this up before I start explaining it. We love everybody. Do you not? So your friend back there that's watching this video, friend, we love everybody. We love everybody as intellectuals. As positive spirited people unconditional loving people we love everybody however there are times in situations that we get in where we have to be around people who sometimes aren't the most high vibing people who aren't the most positive people people who think with all these roadblocks in their mind they see have they have all these limitations in their mind they have limited thinking sometimes some people see it as lack of knowledge or some people may have lack of education. Whatever it be, whatever it may be that makes you feel uneasy when you're around a person who you may consider a person of low vibratory rate. Low vibratory, guys, is energy. Okay, Everybody's not energetic. Some people are have low self-esteem. Some people are stressed. I mean, let's face it, guys. We were once that way, too. We were once in a bottomless pit. We still are, but it's a growing process, you know, and that's one thing we have to get people to realize. And that's why the Living Room Network exists, because we're trying to get people to realize that what they're going through is not permanent. You know, what they're going through, going through is not supposed to always be that way. But you have to always be growing within yourself. Once upon a time, I was a low vibratory person based on the things that I did smoking. Drinking liquor every night, going out partying every single other night. I thought I was going to say weekend, but it was more frequent than the weekends. And I was doing it on the weekends too. You know, doing this, doing that, blah, 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 blah. None of it was good. Everything was just for show. Everything was for image, to appeal, 
the outside world until I realized that I need to appeal to the inner part of me. You know, I need to appeal, appeal to my own heart. You know, I was losing sympathy for myself, but giving sympathy to everybody else. You know, and I began to drain myself. And I said, you know what, I can't do this any longer. You know, I can't be a low vibratory person any longer. But I didn't realize that I was a low vibratory person till I actually started to do research, you know, on self-improvement, you know, and, and self-help, you know, and, and look at videos of life coaches and, you know, listen to inspirational talks on the Internet and, you know, read books, um, read the Bible and, you know, read stories about people like Jesus and su such and such and such and such. And I began to realize, hey, these guys look within themselves and change what was within themselves that they thought was an issue with themselves and made themselves better. They didn't try to impress their truths on everybody else so that everybody else can look at them as somebody that they're not. You know, it takes you looking at yourself and realizing that yourself is a low vibratory person who does things that are not the way that you want them to to be done in your mind's eye. You don't you don't really, really, really want to be in the situation that you're in. You don't want to be there, but you're there. And sometimes you have to ask yourself, why am I here? Then when you begin to ask yourself, why am I here? You begin to think about all the choices that you've made. Then when you think about all the choices, because it's only you, you're the only one responsible. And then when you think about all the choices you made, you got to say to yourself, you know what? I got to take responsibility for my own actions because even though this person helped me tie my shoestring. It was this person's fault, too. It was also my fault, too, because it takes two shoestrings in order to make a knot. It takes two in everything. So I'm responsible, too, and I have to just be a big enough person to say, you know what? I'm going to change it. I'm going to change my part of me. What they do is totally up to them. I just know I want to go forward. I want to grow out of this low vibratory state. And so, guys... When you become the type of person where you begin to get more positive about who you are, how you talk, the words you use, the way you dress, the way you look, the new smile that's on your face, the way you carry yourself. You got the business clothes on now. You got the tie. <laughs> you got the pantsuit on now. You got, matter of fact, you got about four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten different pantsuits in the closet with the heels. Oh, yeah. You be killing them. You be killing them. Yeah, you be. That's my fabulous. Look that up on YouTube or the internet. Look up fabulous. F A B O L O U S. Killing them. You know. Yeah, you be killing them. Yeah. Anyway, so yeah, guys. You, once you're in this positive state of mind, you're gonna go around people who you notice were just like you, or are just like you, and you're gonna be like uneasy. You're gonna be like, yo. I don't want to be around this person, but you have to come to a state of awareness to say, you know what? I understand where this person is at. So even though I'm not supposed to be around this person because we have differences in how we carry ourselves, I'm going to still act as though this person is the best person that I've ever met in my entire life. It's going to be uneasy, guys. Sometimes you're going to feel bad about being around certain people. But for that moment, for that moment, help this person up the ladder. Help this person become a better version of themselves. Shine some light in this person's life. Tell this person some inspirational things about yourself. Tell them how you once wore what they wore, but now you wear this, if that's the case, tell them how you once used to curse like a sailor. Matter of fact, your mama told you she was going to give you some, some soap to put in your mouth. But now you watch how much you curse. You don't curse as much as you used to. Because you've got out of the low vibratory state of mind. But once again, guys, you're going to always come in contact with people who are still there. You know? You're going to notice it. Trust me. I do it all the time. I notice it all the time. How do I deal with it? You see this fist? Just be strong. Just be strong and just know that you were once that person too. And that person is no less than you are. Treat everybody with respect. Give everybody equal 
chance. Give everybody the benefit of a doubt. Treat everybody like they're important. And guess what's going to happen in return? You're going to begin to change that person. And they not even know it. Then before they know it, they will find themselves in a room like you were. Trying to learn themselves. They will find themselves looking at media and videos and reading books. Trying to better themselves because you influenced them. Yep, you Realm Team member. You influenced them. You influenced them. They want to be like you behind closed doors. Yeah, they want to be just like you behind closed doors. Just because of what you said. That thing that you said. Or the things that you're going to say. Is going to trigger down into their subconscious mind. And it's going to say, turn on. Turn on. Come to light. You're no longer a low vibratory human being. Vibrate higher. Vibrate higher. Vibrate higher. So I hope this resonated with you guys. I'm Trina Henderson. We're on the infamous Living Room Network. Slowly but surely, we will be arriving in space next month to pick up our care package of positive energy. Space Odyssey is underway, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. Make sure you go to the bottom of this video. Click that link. Sign up as a Realm Team member. Share the video. Get other people involved of the great things that we're doing here on the Living Room Network. I see you around. I see you on Facebook. Peace.